Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. You and we are, and you are going to explain. Okay. All right, there here we, we go, go, guys. Now what we have is the 2018 Little Guy Max, and we have a 100 watt solar panel on the top of our unit already. We also have an SRM27 deep cycle battery, and as you can see, we already have the controller. This is a ZS. 10AW ZAMP solar controller. Now this is important because Russ and I have talked before about upgrading our solars. The 2019 Little Guy Maxes have 200 watts, so we thought we could simply put on another 100 watt panel. Well, if we did that, we found out we would also have to upgrade our controller, and that's because this controller can only take up to 170 watts. Now these controllers are compatible with lithium, gel, AGM, conventional lead acid, aka wet batteries, that's what we have, and calcium 12 volt batteries. The first thing I want to show you is selecting the battery type. You want to make sure that you have this set to whatever type of battery you are currently using. You can see right here we have a wet battery and we have it set to that. The way you change it is you press down the battery type button, you hold it for three seconds till it starts blinking. Then with each consecutive press, it will cycle through the different battery options. When you get to the battery that you want, you stop pressing and wait for it to finish blinking. The next button is your amp and volt. Right now it's displaying how many volts the next one is amps, and then the next one is amp hours. On the LCD screen, you're going to notice at the top we have some flashing lights. That's because we do have some solar charge coming through and it's being charged. Right below it, right here, there's a little box and has these little dots that kind of look like hamburgers in them. That is just showing that you actually have a solar panel and that it is plugged into the controlling unit. And then the one right below it says BT1. That's showing that you have a battery that's plugged in and connected to the controller as well. So now to the charging status and battery condition. What we're showing right now is from the manual. And this is a chart of showing what different light combinations mean. One of the things we wondered is when are we fully charged? According to the manual, a battery is fully charged and maintained at a safe level when the lead acid battery, gel, AGM, or wet battery has a voltage of more than 13.6 volts. A fully charged LIFE PO4 or LTO battery has a voltage level of 13.4 volts. One other thing that you may be wondering about, down below you're going to see a sticker that says solar plus or minus, battery plus or minus, or a temp sensor. The solar plus or minus and the battery plus or minus are just guidelines. They tell you where to connect the solar panel and the battery wires to the controlling unit when you're installing. The temp sensor is an option. The unit provides a port to connect the external battery temperature sensor. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was valuable for you. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, any comments, any tips, maybe somewhere where we didn't understand exactly uh, what was going on exactly. and you might have a better understanding, please let us 